Hello and welcome to our special show, Viram Agenda Sustainability. I'm your host, Akshita Nandakopal. Water and sanitation are also known as SDG 6. It's the sixth of the United Nations' 17 goals for sustainable development objectives. A UNESCO report presented at the conference says that 26% of the world's population lacks access to safe drinking water and nearly 3 billion people face water scarcity for at least one month every year. In the list of 122 nations, India ranks 120th on the Global Water Quality Index. In India, 1 in 10 people don't even have access to clean drinking water. And 6 out of 10 people are experiencing a water crisis. Why is that? The biggest reason for this is the huge population pressure on our water sources. Mobius Foundation's campaign, Viram Agenda Sustainability, in association with the India Today group, realizes the need for collective effort and commitment to take effective measures in this direction. In today's show, we'll try to understand the relationship between population growth and water pollution and its long-term consequences. India is home to 19% of the world's population. However, we only possess 4% of the world's water resources. Less supply and more consumption means water crisis. As per Niti Aayog, water demand in India will increase by 40% in 2030. Overpopulation is going to affect the water resources as well of the country because per capita, Consumption is the same all over the world per person of water, but the resources are less. According to Down to Earth magazine, 55% of the wells have dried up in India. Forty percent of rural homes lack access to running water. Water aid report says day zero circumstances are present for 12% of the population. We have a lot of you know, leakage losses into our system, which is largely responsible for how much we are actually you know, making the water reach to a customer or a user. Now, why this disparity? As I said, uh, you know, at some places it's being misused, at some places it's just not available, uh, and the scarcity shows up. Contaminated water will increase the risk of life and diseases. There are एक तो है हमारी शहरी आबादी का गंदा पानी हमारी नदियों में और हमारे भूजल के स्रोत में सीधा मिलना और दूसरा है ये जो हमारा इंडस्ट्रियलाइजेशन है इस इंडस्ट्रियलाइजेशन में हमने प्रदूषण से मुक्ति का रास्ता नहीं ढूंढा इसलिए हमारा प्रदूषण बराबर बढ़ता जा रहा है और प्रदूषण बढ़ रहा है तो बीमारियों की मार बढ़ रही है और बीमारियों का इलाज करने पर जो भी कुछ कमाई होती है वो उसमें इलाज में ही गवाही हो जाती है इसलिए हमारे हालात दिन बे दिन आर्थिक सामाजिक स्वास्थ्य पर्यावरण इन सब क्षेत्रों में हमारे हालात बिगड़ रहे हैं अकॉर्डिंग टू नीति आयोग वाटर पोल्यूशन किल्स 2 लाख पीपल एवरी ईयर 6 crore people are facing severe water crisis. 2.79 lakh children can be saved if they get clean water. The situation is more frightening in other countries of the world. People of Asia and Africa are the most distressed World Resource Institute says. 200 crore people are forced to drink dirty water as per WHO. Up to third of some countries' economy may fall due to polluted water, as per World Bank. Niti Aayog says India's GDP may suffer a loss of 6% by 2050. Why have we neglected the management of water? If you want water tomorrow, wake up from the sleep today. It is difficult to increase supply, control consumption and stop unbalanced growth of population to balance water demand. 
we must realize that the amount of drinkable water on earth is finite and we must also consider how many people our water supply can actually support. More than 2 crore children are born annually in India. The amount is equivalent to the combined populations of 78 small countries. This figure equates to three-fourths of Delhi's present population. And this indicates that we're growing by the equivalent of one Delhi every year and a half. One infant is born in Delhi every 90 seconds. Delhi, one of the top 20 cities in the world, is reportedly experiencing a serious water shortage. These statistics demonstrate how the water situation is worsening as a result of rising population. India's water situation is becoming more severe by the day. According to a 2018 report by Niti Aayog, out of 400 cities across the world that are experiencing a water crisis, Chennai is ranked highest among these four cities, followed by Kolkata, Mumbai and Delhi. In terms of water crisis, Chennai and Delhi will soon surpass Cape Town of South Africa. The Combined Water Management Index predicts that the groundwater level will be nil in 21 cities throughout the nation. This implies that these cities won't even have access to their own water supply. This affects the lives of 10 crore people and covers cities like Bangalore, Chennai, Delhi and Hyderabad. Indiscriminate urbanization in the world's second largest populated city of Delhi is depleting water sources. A study by the World Resources Institute India found that the depletion of water sources increased from 1260 square kilometer in the year 2000 to 1961 square kilometer in 2015. Untreated chemical and sewage of Haryana's industries are being discharged into the river Yamuna flowing through Delhi. The situation is such that the level of ammonia in Yamuna has reached a record 8 ppm while Delhi's water treatment plants have a capacity of only 1 ppm. The situation is such that in March-April this year itself, water supply had to be interrupted in many areas of Delhi. The industries are in Haryana. They have untreated water. Until the Haryana government is not strong against them, until they will not do their own laws, and until they will not watch what they are putting, until they will be there. हाँ जहाँ तक हमारे अपने घर में तैयारी की बात है तो ऑनरेबल सीएम ने आ, हर डब्ल्यू को टेक्नोलॉजिकली इक्विप करने का फैसला किया है कि जी हम वहाँ पे ऐसी तकनीक लगाएं जिससे अगर अमोनिया एक्सेस में भी आता है तो हम उसको ट्रीट कर सकें तो वो जिस जिस डब्ल्यू पे ऐसी संभावना होती है हो रही है पीछे तो उस जल बोर्ड को कहा गया है इस बात को इवैल्यूएट करने के लिए कि कौन सी तकनीक वहां पे लगाई जाए उस डब्ल्यू पे डब्ल्यू के ऊपर जिससे कि एक्सेस में जब ऑनिया तो उसका भी हम देखभाल करें the Water Resources Institute India study conducted in 10 cities between year 2000 and 2015 shows that Hyderabad, Kolkata, Bengaluru, Mumbai and Chennai are the worst after Delhi whereas in India the rural population is the first to suffer due to the serious problem of water crisis. Therefore, the burden of unchecked population growth in cities is growing. One of the main causes of migration to cities from rural regions of the nation is water shortage. By 2050, it's predicted that 75% of Indians would reside in urban areas. One of the major cities in South India is Chennai, which has a population of around 1.25 crore. People worry that the situation won't deteriorate into anything like the water crisis of 2019 every summer. It is not as though these conditions in Chennai just appeared overnight. About 2400 acres of water sources have vanished by 2016. More than 50% of the dwellings don't follow regulations for rainwater harvesting. 20% reduction in reservoir capacity due to poor maintenance. Three heavily contaminated rivers go unaddressed. There is no coordination between three agencies looking after the water bodies. Master plan notification delayed by 13 years and state water policy amendment delayed by 25 years. 
जब जल दूषित होता है तो नदियाँ भी दूषित होती हैं और जब नदियाँ दूषित होती हैं तो सभ्यताएँ सूखने लगती हैं मरने लगती हैं इसलिए हम इस मूल कारण जल के प्रदूषण को इससे मुक्ति के उपायों को ढूंढकर इस पर काम करें इन इंडिया एटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ टोटल वाटर इज यूज फॉर एग्रीकल्चर टेन परसेंट फॉर इंडस्ट्रीज एंड फाइव परसेंट फॉर डोमेस्टिक यूज ड्यू टू द अनऑर्गेनाइज वाटर सिस्टम इन इंडिया देर इज इन इक्वालिटी इन द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ वाटर According to the World Health Organization, a person needs about 25 liters of water every day to meet his needs. But the per capita consumption in Delhi is 272 liters per day, mainly due to the wastage of water, industrial consumption, and no standard limit for domestic water use. Oceans are spread over 71% of the earth. These oceans contain 97% of the total water present in the world. That means only 3% is the water that we can actually use. The most significant supply of water comes from rivers, but the alarming fact is that in 62% of our nation's rivers, the water is contaminated. Big rivers like the Ganga, the Brahmaputra and Indus may dry up in 27 years according to a UN study at a water conference. So let's talk about how we're contaminating our rivers with Himanshu Thakkar of South Asia Network on dams, rivers and people. Himanshu, thank you for joining us here on India Today. Thank you for having me in the show. Mr. Himanshu, to what extent are the uncontrolled population of our cities and its unbridled activities actually responsible for the condition of rivers? Well, to an extent, population increase and the demand, increasing demand per capita for the population uh, both because of natural growth and in migration from surrounding areas are uh, to an extent responsible. And secondly, the way water is governed in the cities, there is no policy, uh, uh, urban water policy which is guiding India's cities. Uh, they don't take care of their lo local water resources, whether it is the rain, the local streams, the local water bodies, the wetlands, the groundwater aquifers, or even the sewage which they generate, uh, which can be actually a major resource but instead it becomes a uh, nuisance. Thank you Himanshu Thakkar for joining us with your expert opinions on this issue. Thank you. Hydrocide is a phrase used to describe how our population has destroyed rivers and overused our water supplies. The stakes have grown to the point that even if the world's population were to decline from 8 to 7 billion by the year 2100, eliminate inequality, put appropriate groundwater use regulations into place, you set resource consumption limits and somehow, somehow save the environment, there will still be a water crisis. This is noted in the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change's final report. Let's take a break and then we talk about how water contamination affects our health when we return. Welcome back to our special show, Viram Agenda Sustainability. In terms of water availability per person in India, there were 6,000 cubic meters in 1994, 2,300 cubic meters in 2000, 1,600 cubic meters is anticipated by 2025. As the world suggests, anthropogenic uh, uh, factors for water pollution, it is the human activities which, is, which has contributed to the water pollution. The consequences of consuming contaminated water are quite serious. To deal with water population in European cities like Paris and London, along with preparing wastewater treatment, river restoration, green infrastructure, education and awareness, and compliance of law has been ensured. Finally, in India, what does the government have to say on the seriousness of the situation? Let's see what Minister of State for Jal Shakti, Prahlad Singh Patel, has to say on this issue. If we see that the population of the people of the world has grown, then the population of the people of the world will be more than 25 years. And that will reach 1,000 MCM. But the Paris resolution has all been followed. हमने भी उसका पालन किया है और उसका परिणाम दिखने भी लगा है सूरत है नागपुर है सीवेज के पानी को 
ट्रीट करने के बाद में इंडस्ट्री ने लेना शुरू किया है और हम ग्रे वाटर मैनेजमेंट के साथ में ऐसी इंडस्ट्री को या जहाँ पर हम अगर हमें फ्लस करना है तो फ्लस करने के लिए तो हम ट्रीटेड वाटर का उपयोग कर सकते हैं तो इन बातों पर भारत सरकार पूरी तरह से मुस्तैद है मैं सिर्फ एक आग्रह जरूर करूंगा आपके माध्यम से आज के दिन कि मैं ये कहता हूं कि जितना पानी एक व्यक्ति वर्ष भर में उपयोग करता है अगर वो बरसात का पानी उतना जमीन के भीतर अपने प्रयासों से डाल दे तो हम अपनी आने वाली पीढ़ी के साथ न्याय करेंगे गवर्नमेंट कॉर्पोरेट हाउसेज एन जी ओज एंड ऑल ऑफ अस वी हैव टू मेक एफर्ट्स टूगेदर टू स्टॉप द अनकंट्रोल्ड पॉपुलेशन ग्रोथ all that and more the next time we meet till then this is akshita anand gopal signing off we'll see you in the next episode of viram agenda sustainability a year long initiative with mobius foundation in association with the india today group